that the head ball coach awakened, one that thrived in urban renewal, and now one where only the Gators get out alive. This game today could be an inflection point for both of these teams as each hoping to use it as a springboard to get into the top 25. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Kentucky Wildcats, taking on another team from the SEC, the Florida Gators. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Kentucky about to kick off to get things underway. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Florida's offense takes the field. And here comes this quarterback. This entire offense is built around him. He is the engine of the entire team. I mean, he's the leader. He's the alpha. Everybody looks towards him. He's been doing it all year long. Everybody believes in this young man. Big opportunity, big stage. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. They'll keep it on the ground. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. This guy's got a lot of tools in his toolbox, toting the rock band. He showed you right there. And when I think back to Florida running backs, Emmett Smith, all-time great. But a guy I played with in Gainesville, Fred Taylor. He was so big, but so fast for a guy his size. He just caused so many problems for the defenses we face. And I think in the SEC today, you have got to be able to run the football if you're going to win games. And this guy right here. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. Back to pass. It's Mertz. Finds his tight end. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. In their vision of that play, someone would run free after making an easy catch. Uh, there was nowhere to run and nowhere to go except down. Probably looked really good when they threw that one up on the board this week in practice, but obviously a lot more difficult to go out and execute. Give the defense credit. Great stop. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one, they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. The Gators are on the move. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. With the catch, it's Johnson. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. The completion short of the sticks, it's second down. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run. It just it makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. Working their way closer and closer. A third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. And another nice game by the offense. All right, defense. We've got to change something up here. They're putting a big drive together, play after play, having a lot of success. How do we break the rhythm? How do we give them something that can create a tackle for a loss or a sack or something to get momentum back on my side? He leaves it with his back. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. All right, 
Well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give to the back. Defense there to stop him at the 20. Let's give him three yards on that carry. Ball is at the 20. They'll try to convert this third and short. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Tackle is made after the first down. This offense knew coming into this one, guys, how important it was to start early on this opening drive for them. They're doing a nice job running the football there on third down. They're in a position on the field now. If you're on defense, you got to be ready for a shot throw into the end zone. And the Gators with the first and ten. After the run, 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 now to throw. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They go to the ground. He picks up four. That'll leave them with third and six. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Off play action. He's got it. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Gator. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So Kentucky's offense will try to get something started with their first possession. And the spotlight in this game will undoubtedly be on these star wide receivers, David. I mean, they're featured, Reese. Like, these guys are going to touch the football a lot. These offenses are built to get them the football to make plays. We're in for a few catches today, Carl. We sure are. When you can get open like these guys can, when you have the speed to take the top off of the defense, you know you're going to see a lot of explosive plays today. throwing it and running it, and you know he's going to try to hurt this defense with his legs. It, it puts so much stress on the defensive line to chase him and the fact that the play is extended so long. Yeah, if they've got a spy defensively, if someone's athletic enough to run with this guy, that's going to be maybe a, a sound move moving forward schematically. Oh, what a move. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. Great offenses always stay ahead of the chains. That run right there, now you're in a good position. It's not second and long. It's not third and long. Now it's the whole playbook's over. The defense really has to honor run and pass for the next snap. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll give it on the counter. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. 
I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They'll bring him down, but not before he put people in the spin cycle. Hard to imagine this is only their first drive of the game, but their defense was on the field for virtually an entire quarter. So, guys, there's a lot of pressure on this offense here to convert this third down so their defense can stay on the sideline and get their win back. On the move. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Looking downfield, it's Vandergrift using the quick game. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Florida on top. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. directions now as we crank it up in the second now facing a third and long from the 50 yard line feeling some heat didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down and how nice is it to have the home crowd going absolutely bananas communication is harder the, the snapping the football everybody being on time man this crowd really affected the football Kentucky sends out the punting unit he ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. On the return, it's Hawkins. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels. Because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Johnson. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? The second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the bat. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing game. Quick handoff. Still on his feet at the 45. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. The Gator ground game is lurking in the murky waters, and it has been most effective. Yeah, we've seen them in the past, man. When Florida's really, really cooking, they've got some good, good backs. They've got some good bounce, but they've got some physicality, and that's what you want to see from this unit. They're going to ride this running back. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. But right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on first down. If you're starting like that, now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run. This offense, if they can create that run physicality, now it opens up everything else. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. They'll make the stop, and he gets four on the play balls at the 25.
They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. They'll run play action. A shot for the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. So they'll send out the field goal unit. He'll try to put one down the boulevard from 42 yards out. It's good. And now the lead is extended a little far. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. From inside the 10, here he comes. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stock follow and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you scored here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throat, and they gashed it. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Man, oh man, the ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front, too, right? They got to move those defensive linemen out of the way, at least create a hole so the running back has a chance. Not there, he didn't have it. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. To the air, it's Vandergrift. Got it set up on the outside. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. And he didn't get the big game. You want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If you could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. On the option. Quick toss. Still running at the 40. And a big play there on the option. The pitch was executed perfectly. And third down, they keep it on the ground with their playmaker. They give him the football. They got so much confidence in this guy and their offensive line, and they get the first down. Listen, just to be on the field on third down as a running back means you've got to be versatile, right? You've got to be able to catch the ball. You've got to be able to block. But if they want to hand it off to you on third down, too, you've got to be able to go find a way to keep the drive alive. This dude has all the tools in the toolbox. He's got his man. Touchdown, Wildcats! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. These two guys, they just shared a glance, and they knew exactly, exactly what to do, Dave. And how many times do we hear that? The quarterback talk about it after the game and go, hey, I just looked at him. He knew what I saw. I knew what he saw. We're on the same page. We've done this before. That chemistry equals big plays. They'll try to attack one more on their score. And with the extra point, the lead is cut to three. It's 10 to seven. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. 
looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And the return man is stopped, and that will leave it up to the offense on the next drive. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Going up top on first down. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. I love the coverage in the back end by the secondary. That DB was glued to the wide receiver, just staying right behind him. He was able to locate the ball and get his paw out there to knock it down. Line getting set on second down. Wants to throw. It's Mertz. Right on target this time. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. He can't make the catch. Had it right in his hands, and it'll be fourth down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. The Gators will try to pin them back with the punt. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Fair catch is made, but there is laundry on the deck, so we might be having a do-over. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Here's the handoff. Got enough for the first down and wants more. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football, create balance, and, and right here just chews up another first down gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on his defense. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. The incompletion on first down leaves him with second and 10 from the 43. Dropping back, it's Mertz. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. Now, how about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocked to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? That last completion is still leaving them with a third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Coming after it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And they'll send out the field goal unit. That is no good. It's still a three-point game after the miss. Florida, 10, Kentucky, 7. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse. And they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Here comes the offense on second down. Scanning the field, it's Vandergrip. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Just didn't seem like the quarterback and his intended target were on the same page there. Dessa 
totals rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Finds a man on the left. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. And the Wildcats have it with a first and ten. The aerial assault continues. Got the quick pass. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. And man coverage, when they get up in your face, they make things hard. You want to be able to attack the whole field and get them lean in one direction and then break outside like you did there. Nice out route connection. Nice chemistry between quarterback and wide receiver. Looking to go up top on first down. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. Obviously, when you're playing in weather like this, the ball is very slippery and it's hard to catch. The QB threw a bullet that time, and his receiver just could not reel it in. After misfiring, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got it in the middle. It's key. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. He's got it on the move. That completion takes him down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. You've got to throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. The hurry up now. Second down. Clock ticking. Looking to throw. It's Vandergrift. Buying some time. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. The offense burns its third and final timeout of the half. And in the closing moments of the first half, they'll try to put a three spot on the board. No, no good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. What a scene there in Gainesville. What a fine college football game we've got. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to our men in the swamp. The Gators will kick it off to start the second half. Here's the return from inside his tent. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. Not a lot of scoreboard fireworks from these guys in the first half, but they've got a chance here after making some halftime adjustments. Yeah, and remember, it just takes one play to kick the door open, and all of a sudden there's a lot more confidence again. So which guy on this offense can hit the big home run and break this thing open? Well, the good thing is it's such a low-scoring game. I'm still very much in this. I can be who I am, make a few tweaks, make a few adjustments, and get this offense rolling. They'll give it to the back. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk out to the 30-yard line. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. 
He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Kentucky will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Bearcats call for, but a flag is on the field. Let's see what that's about. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Nothing to kick. Defense. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So it's first and ten after that costly defensive penalty on fourth down. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Already, it's completely changed the game. Like, now it's 11 on 11 football. The quarterback used to hand it off and stand there and watch the play. Now, he's very much involved in the play. He's running the football so much. And even when he's not, he's making somebody go with him and cover him. So, the quarterback scrambling, the quarterback running, um, it's completely changed the way people play defense. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. down third down coming he'll try to pick it up on the ground quick step and go now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29 i tell you what with this kind of success on the ground i, I think you two knuckleheads could call plays i mean that's how easy it is for this offense right now they got the ground game working it's really easy now you can open up for other things but you guys could even try your hand because they're dominating right now from the gun, the ground game. Got three on first down at second and seven. From the gun, running back gets to give. He stopped after a one-yard pickup at the 25. They run into a bit of trouble here, third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. It's a draw. Sweet cut there. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He was shedding serious tackles on his way to picking up the first. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You can throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. Getting some heat. Looking to buy time. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. To the air, it's Vandergrift. Makes his connection. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. The Wildcats have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Relentless tough running gets it down to the four. again to get it in he works his way all the way down to the three and the defense is reeling and with the stuff there jesse on second down this little third to mid range you got two downs what are you thinking here maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run pass option see if you can get the defense in a bind you can't hear yourself think on third and goal 
on the gun, wants to pass. Still moving to his right. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Not sure exactly what led to that, whether the protection wasn't right or the quarterback just didn't see it, but the result was a negative play and a sack. But one thing I do know is that quarterback had no chance to get that ball downfield. That pocket was breaking down, and it was breaking down quickly. There were just too many bodies in that backfield for the QB to make anything happen. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. The holder will put it down on the right hash, a 33-yard try. No good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. That's now the second missed field goal for this guy. And you have to wonder if the weather is playing a bit of a factor. Not easy to kick in these kind of conditions with all this rain. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Fowler, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space. See if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. Getting that push, a pickup of four out to the 26. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Facing a third down is short from the 26. To the air, it's Mertz. Grabs it in the middle. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Great play by the defense there. And listen, they got to do more of this. Running backs obviously had a lot of success. They got to continue to stop this run game, be physical, and not let this guy beat him. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Got it behind the line. It's Badger. And as they get him to the ground, clock running. Looks as if time will expire here in the third. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Gets open down the middle. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep him away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks. And you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll bring it back. It's Oh, the ball's out on the return. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. And this kickoff coverage team, they just get to the ball carrier. They are flying around. They're beating their blocks. And the ability to create a turnover on a special team's play like this, and that is massive. And now it sets up a great field position. Back to throw. It's Mertz. Fires to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone. Make them execute and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Quick strike complete. The defense wouldn't let him lose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. 
Yeah, nice job by the defense staying glued to him. Getting him on the ground as soon as he catches the football. Knowing he's a threat, I'm not going to let this guy get out of my sights. Nice job by the D. Third play of the drive, and they need to make something happen here on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to get to it. Going to try to get it himself. And the defense making a sure tackle just short of the first down marker. This is why third down is so difficult for quarterbacks because the defense substitutes. They put faster guys on the field and they've got all their different exotic looks they've been game planning all week for. Some things you haven't seen on film yet and it confuses your offensive line. It confuses you and you're out here just trying to make plays, trying to do something right to get a first down. Wasn't able to gain a lot there. Look, it's sloppy out here. It's wet. The ball is slick. It's not easy to kick in these types of conditions. That's now his second miss field goal, but I know this kicker's disappointed of himself because he's good enough to make these kicks. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. Trying to find his man on first down. He looks that one in nicely. He's brought down solid. Pick up but a little bit short of the first down. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on him, right? They've got the lead. It's late. They're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this. And he's smart. You've got to attack the sideline. You've got to throw first down. You've got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Give to the running back. Sweet feet on the move. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. He'll keep it himself. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. And that option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watching the linebacker, you can tell, locked in on the quarterback, chases him down, gets to him, not only gets to him, doesn't let him break a tackle, gets him on the ground. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Special teams coming through as they pin them back. They'll mark it dead at the 10. The Gators sending the offense back to work. He wastes no time and comes out blowing. Fires to the big fella. That's why the good Lord invented tight ends, isn't it, David? Get a good pickup on first down, open up the entire plate. And just makes life so easy on quarterbacks. I mean, you got these guys that are so gifted athletically that you can do everything with them. They're like overgrown wide receivers and now understanding zones and how to attack them. It's just unbelievable when you got these kind of big athletes. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. All right, so I know the defense is going to be aggressive, right? They got their stop. They forced a third down. How aggressive does the offense want to be in response? Because if I throw the football, get a first down, I can run this clock almost out. This defense has to make a choice, but this offense, how aggressive do you want to be? On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. He uncorks one deep. He's got it all right. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. 
They'll run it to keep the clock moving. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. This offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. you got to believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. Might as well stick with him. Yeah, and not a surprise by this offense, right? This is a game management type situation. I want to run the football. I want to run the clock. The clock is my friend with the lead late in the fourth quarter inside of a minute. I'm going to keep this ground game going and make you have to look at that clock continue to tick. Finds his big tight end. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And the Gators will snap it on first and ten. Handoff to the home back. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll try the run. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. I think if you're offense here, the game boils down to this one play on third down with the lead late. If you get the first down, that's ball game. There's not enough time left for the defense to get it back and go march down the field. So let's dial up our best play offensively. Let's make sure our best players are touching the football. And this is going to be incomplete on third. And with that incompletion, it now sets up a very interesting decision for the head coach, right? You've got a narrow lead. You kick the field goal now, you force the opponent to have to at least score a touchdown to retake the lead, but you can also seize a lot of momentum. If you get it here on fourth and short, if you're able to score a touchdown, this is a completely different game. He got it. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. The short hands, it's Trainer, And they pick up just a few on that completion. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. The clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. Back to throw. It's Vandergrift. He makes the connection. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. I think in this situation, two minutes trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, I think you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. They turn to the passing game on third and short. Pocket starts to collapse. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. After that incompletion, there is so much pressure now on this quarterback to come up with a big play. They need to score a touchdown. They need to keep this drive alive to have any shot at winning this game. But it all comes down to this play right here. A six-point game getting very deep in the fourth quarter and the offense desperately needing to convert this fourth down. He'll pull it on the read. And he uses a stiff arm to push his way past the sticks and pick up the first down. 
Great job by the defense. You've got the lead in this two-minute situation late. If they're going to run the football, you've got to tackle them inbounds, not let them get the first down. They did both those things, and the clock keeps ticking. They convert the fourth down, but back to the line with no time to waste. And now they come up and spike it to stop the clock. It's now second down. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. He's looking for an open man on second down. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. 